And well, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. I'm the Obscure and Joe PD, and for today, what I have in here it is Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. So, Pro Evolution Soccer 2019, it is developed by the Konami. It's pretty much the only game they have now, and they are using Fox Engine, the same engine behind games, the latest Pro Evolution Soccer's. And also, you know, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. So the graphical settings I'm using 720p on the resolution, and I'm using pretty much low settings. 720p, it is the minimum resolution you can go for. Unfortunately, you can't go below of that. And for today, we will be playing a match of Barcelona against Liverpool. I will change the the difficulty to professional. I'm not really a football type of player, so I'm expecting to be very bad playing this game, especially especially at pro professional, but okay, so let's wait a little bit for the game to load, okay, and I will show you the results, actually I'm going to show you the results just right away. So this is pretty much the minimum settings you can go for. Like I said, 720p, it's the minimum you can go for on this game. The graphical settings were all set to the minimum settings possible. And yet, during the regular gameplay, I mean the, the regular camera where you play the game, you can expect frame rates between 27 to 45 frames per second. My personal recommendation is to lock the game at 30 frames per second. That is uh, that option on the settings menu the first time you start the game. You can choose to, to lock the game at 60 or at 30s. My personal recommendation is to lock both replays and gameplay at 30 frames per second. Replays are the worst case as usually, but in this case it's really bad. Replays can get frame rates between 7 frames per second. This is pretty much, pretty much a PowerPoint slideshow. And also can reach 25 frames per second in the best case scenario. But during the regular gameplay, if you lock the game at 30 frames per second, you will get a stable 30 frames per second with some rare drops that might happen here and there. But like I said, every time a replay starts or a lower pan camera, you can expect a very, very, very bad frame rate. Most of the time, that frame, that frame rate won't uh, affect your gameplay because it's replays, you won't be playing on replays. But even during the gameplay, I mean 30 frames per second for a football game, uh, it is a little bit disastrous. You can clearly notice the difference, you can clearly notice that the gamepad is a little bit unresponsive, players feels very heavy. And uh, comparing Pro Evolution to FIFA, if this goes like this, I'm expecting FIFA to be much more playable than Pro Evolution Soccer. This is because last year Pro Evolution Soccer was also playable at around 30 frames per second. And FIFA, I was able to get pretty much 60 frames per second on this laptop, okay? So probably this year will be the same. But until I test FIFA, I can't really say that it will perform better or worse than Pro Evolution, but if it goes the same way as last year, probably if you buy FIFA you will get 60 frames per second, but Pro Evolution Soccer, uh, it will be very hard to even get near of, it, near of that, okay? So, that's pretty much the performance you can expect, I'm just here to inform you about it, unfortunately, uh, well, 30, like I said, 30 frames per second is a little bit bad, especially in replays, it's very bad, and again, that's exactly the performance that you can expect. So, you know what is bad too? My... <laughs> well, my skill of playing this type of game. So, what you can expect for the rest of the game is for me to struggle to win the match, okay? So, I don't remember how it gone, but I think I did lose, so don't expect me to win this. It's very hard for me to play this type of games again, so... Don't joke with me, please. <laughs> okay, so in case you are interested of buying the game anyway, despite uh, you know the 30 frames per second and the bad performance on replays, you can still get the game from Steam. It will be launched, I think, on 30 Ag 30 August. I'm not really sure about it, but I will leave you a link for the Steam shop or Steam store where you can get the game. Eventually, you can also get the game through Kingwin with a cheaper price. But I'm not really sure if it will be available at the time of the video. But again, I will leave you a link in case you are interested, okay? So, that's all that I want to talk about. Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. This is a demo. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you keep enjoying the rest. Again, don't expect me to win. And that's it. So, guys, think a lot. And I do hope to see you soon.
Goodbye.